Hey, thanks for tuning in today. One of the hardest things to do on the web is get people to remember your website and then come back to your website after they've initially stumbled on it. So it's hard enough to get them to find you to begin with, but to get them to come back can be even more tricky or even harder. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a Facebook feature that will help people who have visited your site find their way back to your site. And that's with the save to Facebook button. So if you look at my screen here, I've added a save to Facebook button to this page. And when I click on save to Facebook, what it does is it adds that page to my Facebook profile under the saved tab right here. So if I click on saved, you'll see that I've bookmarked Freedom Honduras underneath that section. To add this button to your website, the first thing you'll need to do is go over to developers.facebook.com slash docs slash plugins and choose the save button option. Now that may be a long URL for you to remember. So I recommend just typing in Facebook plugins into your uh, browser or into Google and uh, you should be able to find the link fairly easily. Now once you're on this page and you've clicked save button, you're going to want to configure your button. To do this, you have to enter the URL that you would like to save to the Facebook saved pages. Next, choose the size of the button. You can choose from either large or small. It's fairly straightforward. And then lastly, click Get Code. Now you've generated two snippets of code, and they want both of these snippets to appear on the page in order to display the Save to Facebook button. So take the first snippet of code, select it, copy it to your clipboard, move on over to your Web Starts page editor, and I'm going to delete this old one just for the sake of this demonstration. Click on Insert, HTML, paste the code into the field provided, then go back to Facebook, select the second part of code, copy that to your clipboard, and then hit the Enter key and paste that code snippet into the field provided. Lastly, click OK, and now the Save to Facebook button will be on your page, and you can drag and drop it wherever you would like it to appear. In this demo, I'm putting it in my header so that it's at the top of each page of my website, because regardless of the page of the website that a person lands on, I want them to bookmark this page by using the Save to Facebook button. I hope you found this video to be helpful, and don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click the subscribe button right here. And if you'd like to see even more videos on search engine optimization, internet marketing, and web design, click the watch more button here.